Hey guys, this is Gary, and I am playing Xevious 3D, uh, 3DG, actually, sorry about that. And last time we just started Area 3, so I'm going to unpause, and I died. Continue Area, yes, I'd love to continue in Area 3. Let's get this power up real quick, and start our page visit place. This is where some of the graphical errors are to be prominent. Uh, if I do have one, I'll have to restart the game completely, and I'll have to get here again. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, it's your own fault, uh, John, for logging in. I am not going to edit out your little face there. Not face, but here. Your name. It's your own fault. Bottom right Skype thing. I'm not going to turn my Skype off. I'm waiting for somebody. Okay, that's that's completely not about the point. This is a rainbow shooter guy. He's also not in the game. The original game. Now this is where... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's two possible directions. One of them makes the screen go blue crazy like that, and it kind of sometimes messes it up like it just did. And the other side is red, and it also makes it mess up like crazy. Now, the thing that just kind of blocked out my screen is intentional. That happens either way, but it is also equally as annoying. Uh, it's, it's not a bug or anything. It's actually the top of the ring that's spinning around, and that is a kind of a weirdly rotating... It's like a, a drunk... Uh, Flopsy, Flopsy, whatever thing it's going to be called. I don't even know the names of some of these enemies. I make up names. Uh, like uh, some of these guys are... I don't, I don't know. These aren't in the original game. I only named the original game once because those are the ones that I'm actually used to. So uh, Here comes another turn in the hall. Let's see which way we go. Last, okay, we're going in a, a familiar direction, I guess. I've gone this way before in my test run. So here we... Ooh, maybe not. I think I went the other way. I'm a liar. Let's see where this way goes. This is completely blind. So apparently this level is the randomized level, which is okay, I guess. And these guys are destroying me entirely. If you don't mind. I mean, I'm sure you guys don't mind, but I, I surely do, because it really makes me look like a crappy player. Which I am not. I am actually a pretty good Xevious player. Just, I'm not used to these guys. Come on, give me a power-up. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, yeah. I'm going to get that red power. Give me that. You guys are dead now. All of you ground units. Ugh. I have no idea what takes away my power up though. Oh, and I got green. That's why. I picked up a green thing. Green is the worst power up ever. It's a laser. It doesn't do anything. But it does kind of auto kill stuff. God, I'm just dying all over the place. That guy back there, he's mean. What he does is he just like shoots like a big wave of bullets after you, and it's kind of hard to dodge. Now this boss is really easy if you have the uh, the the whip because it's easy to lock on to stuff. So let's see if we can try to get a lock on him. If you get a lock on him, don't drop it ever because just keep going at the boss fight with his lock on. Okay, so I got hit lock on him. Uh, the only thing that you really have to fight is that guy, so don't worry about anything else. You will lock on to anything. Regardless, so try to get a lock on him. I'm trying to dodge stuff now. Oh no, lasers. It's hard to get a lock on him, though, if there's a lot of guys around, so try to get it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try to hold this lock, because otherwise I won't be doing damage, and it's a really hard to do damage if you don't have a... if you're not doing this right. So, highly suggested that you have this weapon when you come into this boss fight. And even if you have to, you can probably die, get a continue, and then uh, after that, pick the red weapon that picks up, that gets dropped. So, uh, was that it? Uh, I guess I, I guess it was. Okay. All right. 53%. And we got no bonus for the area guard clear. Oh, darn. Darn, darn, darn. I should probably put in some more coins. All right, and this is the start of area four, I guess. Yeah, this is Area 4. Alright. Wow. Wow, that was a great way to start. Let's just destroy these guys. These are kind of annoying. Wow, I got the second worst power-up. And now I got the best. I am back to full strength. These guys are really annoying. They're really fast, and they're really hard to defeat if you don't have this. Because it's hard to get a lock on them sometimes. But if you do have this, it's easier. And they fire pretty fast, that's the thing. And these are the stars. You can shoot them. It's better just to dodge them though, because they act just like normal bullets. And this guy's mean. I think this is the only place that this guy actually appears in this game. Uh, I, if I remember it, kind of ish. So, 
Yeah, like I said, these guys are really fast and they shoot really fast too, so it's, uh, oh, here's the Desert Eagle. This was in the original game and it was the best part of the original game just because of how cool it looked. And I love that part. I wish I could keep that part, like right there, just so I could use it as my background or something. All right, these guys are mean too. That usually comes in groups of three and you have to bomb them. That's the thing because they often go around with a bunch of people that you also need to shoot, which is not fun. Not nice. Not good people. Okay, so I think we can go back into shoot mode. The red whip. Oh, these are the, the bat cars. Batman is what we used to call them, me and my brother. We used to do uh, kind of a co-pilot thing where uh, uh, my brother would shoot and bomb and I would drive. It's really awesome. Okay. Yeah, this part really reminds me of the, the desert from uh, the original Xevious. Really fun area. That's where you got to see the Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle. Okay, these guys are... I think that that guy only explodes once, which is really weird. I was expecting more, but whatever. Spreader! Die, Spreader Man! Alright. Wow. Hello. Oh, this is the boss. Okay. Forgot that this was the boss. <laughs> and this guy is just kind of like a spreader that flies and moves. He just shoots like that. You just try to just weave through his shots because they kind of do follow a little pattern they make like a little pathway that you can kind of run through and wow I just got a bad weapon bad weapon uh, if you didn't hear that clearly enough this guy's annoying very annoying it's best to stay back 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 and if you can bomb bomb whenever you can because the little guys that come out here make this a lot harder than it needs to be so if there's somebody out there, make sure you bomb them, and otherwise just keep shooting. Keep shooting the little roto thing, and don't try to avoid dying. That is usually advisable. Okay, I think I only have one little tile left, so I'm just gonna. There we go. Okay, that was really easy actually. It's a lot harder to do with homing. I just noticed that, but now you have to shoot this guy, and he's a lot easier to do with homing, and he's kind of cheap because he's got that. So let's try to try to use our invincibility time to the best. I really like the zoomed out view of this. It looks a lot better than the zoomed in because it feels like you're really close to it and you can't really move. But this way it feels a lot better. So we're fighting the sun here, I think. Oh. Alright, time to get the, the lock on. It's lock on time. This makes this fight a lot easier. As you can see, I instantly killed him right after I got it. So uh, that's that's the last level for for this video. So this is Gary, and I'll see you guys.